Ann Coulter, how you doing? Fantastic. How are you, Mark Simone? Very good. We uh, haven't talked to you in a while. What uh, What do you think of the uh, Mueller hearings? Um, I I was flying that day, so I was watching it inter- intermittently, and. Uh, and you know we've been watching this. We haven't heard him speak for for a decade now. We just keep hearing lifelong Republican. No, he's so honorable. And I'd already restarted. But you know that that I, I smelled a rat. Yeah, based, he's, based he's, on, he's not a Republican. Based on what what his 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 uh, investigators put out, this idea that a prosecutor will say someone isn't exonerated for something. I mean, wow. Wow, um, everyone in your listening audience has not been exor- exonerated from murder and child molestation. Um, that is absolutely not what prosecutors do, and and really kind of offensive to any any concept of justice. You you look to see if you have the evidence for a crime, present it to a grand jury, get an indictment, present it to a ju- jury, um, have a trial. If you're you're not even presenting something something to the grand jury to go out and hold. A press conference and produce a report, the most famous report you know in, in decades at this point, saying we couldn't exonerate him from this <laughs> crime. It's really quite shocking. So, so I was I was not a fan, um, and I researched him for resistance is futile. Um, much of what's in my column this week. Um, um, is, is there's more detail, slightly more detail, in resistance is futile about this, this guy. Both his bungled, really, I mean, I have to say it is true. He completely bungled the anthrax investigation. Um, New Yorkers will remember it was right yeah. after 9/11. The FBI looked like utter nincompoops because they didn't see 9/11 coming. Um, all these vaunted intelligence agencies and oh, the CIA, and nobody saw this coming. So the FBI wanted to show, yes, we are, we aren't a bunch of incompetent nincompoops. Poops. Um, Mueller had took a total hands-on approach to those anthrax mailings a few years later, no, a few weeks later, excuse me, a few weeks later, people were killed, everybody was terrified, powder was going, you know, arriving in the mail at the Senate and, and various other places, post offices took a real hands-on approach, and it ended up being another Richard Jewell case. That was the Olympic <laughs> bombing guy um, who was totally innocent. They, 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 they named this guy. The FBI was leaking like mad. They didn't have evidence. Mueller and, and James Comey, by the way, um, they were personally assuring senators, the attorney general, um, Paul Wolfowitz, nope, nope, this is our guy. And for seven years they pursued Stephen Hatfield, Totally innocent. At the end of the seven years, the FBI has to pay Hatfield millions of dollars. Um, the judge overseeing the case was just indignant at, at the entire the entire investigation. Um, and then they oh, finally oh. zero in on on some some nerdy guy, um, also um, a, a biological researcher who was obsessed with Kappa Kappa Gamma, Gamma girls and had done similar mailings. And that guy, Bruce Ivins, committed suicide. So I think they finally got their man simply by finally looking at the right man <laughs> after seven years. So anyway, I quickly summarize that. Um, the first part of the column, I think, is extremely relevant about how left-wing his prosecutors are, but put a pin on that. Watching that testimony, I know we've argued about this on email, <laughs> Mark Simone, yes. but oh my gosh, um, I, I hope he and his family aren't listening to this podcast. Um, he clearly has some form of dementia. Uh, he was being used as the front man for these left-wing zealots, and and all along he and and you know the media defending him. Oh, oh, they can they can put their politics aside. First of all, no one believes that, or they wouldn't keep telling us that Robert Mueller is a lifelong Republican. Boy, Wait, one. he's but not. We too, a now re- that we see. But he has no idea what was going on. It was horrible watching that. I was crying for some of it. It was so sad. And that was, <laughs> if, you, if you only watch segments of it as I did because I was flying that day, it doesn't overwhelm you. But later that night, I watched the entire second hearing. And oh, my gosh, it's, I can't believe they did. This is elder abuse. <laughs> well... Uh, and, and first of all, he's not a Republican. When he went to work in the Bush administration as FBI director, he briefly registered as a Republican. Rest of his life, he was not a Republican. But uh, he was always like that. You watch the Old Testament years ago. Oh, when you sent that to me, it's not true. He, he, he is didn't know sharp, anything. He's quick. 
Oh, it's like night and day. I invite your listeners to look at that, and I love it. It's up on the web page. He was quicker because he was younger, but he still didn't know the answer to anything. He didn't know what was going on at the FBI. Oh, one Republican, Jim Jordan, not just one Republican, great Republican. He's pursuing him on one particular investigation. The FBI is investigating a lot of stuff. He didn't know the details, but he understood the questions. He knew who was talking. <laughs> um, he knew who he knew what the IRS business was. He didn't know the name of the investigator, but you can see it in his eyes, in his mouth, in his face. Oh my gosh, liberals are monsters! I'm telling you, 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 and apparently some some of my Twitter followers um, are upset at me for going soft on the enemy. No, 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 no. I have, I have identified the enemy as being actually satanic. It's Andrew Weissman. Wasn't Aunt Weissman the first one hired? I mean, he yeah. was already Weissman. I think was heavily responsible for fo- hiring the rest of them. And now I go back to the first part of my column this week of the 17 staff lawyers on the independent councils. Um, staff. Um, Fourteen of them were registered Democrats. Not one of them was a registered Republican. Combined, they had given more than $60,000 to the Democrats. There were um, six or seven I mentioned specifically, just quickly in, in this week's column. Who had donated to Hillary Clinton? One of them, that Jeannie Ree, <laughs> defended Hillary Clinton and the Clinton Foundation. This is who you have investigating the president. <laughs> yeah, I thought the greatest moment was when that uh, the one guy explained the law to Mueller that there's no such thing as exoneration, and he stacked up all the law books and he goes, "No one's ever been exonerated ever by the Justice Department. It's not within your power to exonerate anybody. It's not even within the law." And Mueller looked. Did you see the body language when Mueller? was confronted with all of that? The body language was, where am I? (laughs) No, it was, I'm not saying that to make fun of him, because I felt like I was writing someone's, uh, I mean, not that what I, there's nothing in my column that isn't true, it's just that, you know, you don't write stuff like this on somebody's obituary. Now that I see they were just using him for the name and the respectability, it's absolutely sickening what they did, how they used this poor man. And okay, you say, well, why did he agree to do it? Um, for any of you with old parents, try to take their car keys away. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. They won't admit it. He thought he was in his prime. Oh, my gosh, that is horrible. These people are absolute monsters. You're saying Jerry Nadler is a monster? He looks like a fine man to me. <laughs> I wonder if the Democrats knew. I think they didn't. I think the staff lawyers, Andrew Weissman again, um, they hire just these left-wing zealots, come up with all new legal principles. The Republicans were magnificent bringing out that even though the charge was investigate Russian Russian interference in the election, oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 it, Russian interference through Fusion GPS, not interested. Um, one, one, one important Russian, you know, interference after another, not interested. I mean, one of the most interesting things that came out... Um, from from our magnificent Republicans was that Christopher Steele and Fusion GPS, they met with the Russian who, who went to meet Don Jr. at the Trump Tower meeting the day before and the day after. Yeah. Now, how do you explain that? It's not like Don Jr. reached out to Vlastr, you know, whatever her name is. Um, she reached out to him. She sets up the meeting, and Fusion GPS is hanging with her the day before and the day after. That looks like Russian interference. That looks like the whole thing was a setup, if you care about any of this. Um, and really what we should care about is Trump keeping his promises. But, 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 but Mueller would just say, oh, that was out of my purview. <laughs> well, yeah, because, forget Mueller, Andrew Weissman and the rest of the zealots on the team did not follow what their mandate was, inter, you know, investigate Russian interference in the investigation. They're going back to, you know, d- uh, registering as a foreign agent and, and tax violations of Paul Manafort <laughs> from 10 years earlier. That's this in the purview. Would get anyone, Trump and anyone around him, you get them for jaywalking. That is what Andrew Weissman, um, and this was the Weissman report, not the Mueller report, um, that's what they were doing. I do not think the Russians would, or the Russians, yes, I do not think the Democrats would have put um, Mueller on the stand if they had had any idea the condition this man was in. And by the way, you know, the Republicans on the committee quite clearly agreed with moi, and those of you who do not, i.e. you, Mark, Uh. (laughs) that's because I think you did not watch the whole thing straight through, because by the end of the hearing, I noticed this when I was on the plane, and I was wondering, why are these guys being so nice? At the end of the hearing, 
every Republican, they stopped asking Mueller questions. All, they would use their time to thank Mueller for coming, to praise him for his service. I mean, it was like they were talking to a child at that point because they were. <laughs> well, everybody read Ann Coulter's column. If you didn't get it yet, it's out, the, the new column. And get the book, Resistance is Futile. You, you Democrats especially need to read the book. It's a number one bestseller. Uh, and you can go to dot com. Make sure you follow Ann Coulter on Twitter. And Ann Coulter, thanks for being with us. Great to talk to you, Mark Simone. Bye-bye. Right, take care. Uh, oh, and everybody check out the webpage. Some great stuff up there. Now, I, I'm just telling you, Mueller always sounded bad. Here's two videos. Watch him 10 years ago when he's FBI director testifying. He doesn't know what's going on. And then watch this one from 15 years ago. It's Mueller testifying that there's definitely WMD in Iraq.